Hello and welcome back to the old gold and black. Today, talking about the d disappointing defeat against Cardiff. 2-1 to Cardiff. <sighs> I think we've learnt a lot about our team. I think the team would have learnt a lot about today as well. I think they've got to really, really toughen up in the next couple of weeks if we're going to mount a serious promotion challenge. Although saying that, retrospectively now, looking back at the first four games, we've only lost one of those four. We'd have been pretty happy with that. But... Of those four games, on paper, you'd have thought we'd have been beating Cardiff. But they've won four out of four. Can't argue with that. So today was a typical Neil Warnock team. They were very, very physical, very hard into the tackle, very sly as well, which is something that we've got to learn very, very quickly. There were a couple of times, particularly in the second half, I remember a, a good example. Jota was knocked to the floor. A foul wasn't given. He got up then and then clattered into the back of somebody and a foul was given. It's all about being sly and knowing when to foul, how to foul, I think some of our boys have got to be a little bit clever and learn that very, very quickly. Cardiff started the game better than we did as well. They had a few chances in the first 20 minutes or so, hitting the bar which was a, and getting some dangerous balls in across the box as well, which we failed to, to deal with. But we equally had a couple of chances in the first half as well. Jota had one where he turned his man and got into the box had a shot which was the right thing to do but he went flying over the bar. And Bakare as well had a shot that with his right foot that curled around just wide of the post. Uh, but nil-nil was the score at half-time. main talking point from the first half was the tackle or foul off the ball on Romine Sice near the halfway line. The Wolves bench were all up out of their seats and incensed by it. It seemed as if uh, the Cardiff player had elbowed Sice around about the neck area and only a yellow card was given right in front of the fourth official. Possibly a turning point in the game. But the referee did have a poor game but he didn't make, aside from that, didn't make any massive calls wrong like he didn't give any penalties or miss any penalties like that he sort of let the game get a little bit out of control at points where he was playing advantages too much and or not not giving fouls when he should have or giving fouls it was a poor performance by the referee the first goal came 10 minutes into the second half Miranda failing to deal with the I can't remember who it was on the right hand side and they, from there they got into the box and uh, Joe Rawls tapped it home to make it 1-0 but Wolves came back into the game then really positively and the way that they did was quite good to see they were more direct a bit faster tempo to the play and they deservedly equalised with about 20 minutes to go Barry Douglas had a shot on Bonatini just tapped it in Bonatini by the way I thought had an excellent game today I think he will score goals well he has scored two goals in the four games that we've played but he's not going to be a 20 goal a season 30 goal a season man he's going to be somebody who holds the ball up really well, brings in other players really well and in the style of play that we use at the moment is very effective as a sort of pivot, plays a lot with his back to goal, brings the ball in, uses it wisely and I thought today I thought he played really well. Now at that point it seemed as if also the team that were going to go on and win the game, they had a lot of possession and were moving forward a lot and were looking dangerous but again a long ball forward Willie Bolly doing his best Morecambe and Wise impression instead of just chesting it or hedging it to get rid of it. It was disappointing and then Cardiff scored with a, a good finish from their man. I don't think Ruddy really could have done a lot about it. It was a lot of power behind the shot but very, very disappointing. And of course it was an old Wolves boy, Mendes Lang on the score sheet. Overall disappointing to lose that game but we can learn a lot from it and I hope that Nuno learns a lot from it as well and when we come up against tough teams which is going to be almost every week in the championship that we're a little bit more clever about it and we I think we do need to work on set pieces as well there were a couple of times in the first half with the long throw from Aaron Gunnison that just weren't being properly dealt with and we looked a little bit vulnerable at points and personally after the first four games now I would drop Miranda for the next two so the Southampton and the Brentford game and I'd bring in Ryan Bennett I think that Bennett would have been better today in the rough and the tumble of this type of game. Miranda has played well at parts, he's done some good things but I think he's been the slowest to adapt to the English Championship out of the foreign players. Let me know what you thought of today's game, obviously lots of Wolves fans are going to be disappointed but do you agree with my points, do you think that we have learnt some things about the team today, hopefully Nuno has, drop this video a like as well if you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on Thursday morning for a review of the Southampton game. Bye-bye.